Hi everybody, and welcome to my channel. My name is Shay Birdwell, for those of y'all that don't know me, and for those of you that do, I'm glad to see you back. Tonight we're going to do something that we've yet to do before. We're going to create this new program in which we're going to call Poke Sessions, where we open up really cool boxes and packs of Pokemon cards, and we see what kind of cool pulls that we can get live. See how this goes, and hopefully there'll be many more videos to follow. All right, so let's get started. This first box here that I've got is a mystery power box. And we picked this up at Walmart on sale for, I believe, $24.95. And the allure to this particular type of box right here is that it contains a mystery grouping of particular packs, right? So I think with this right here, it says vintage packs are seated uh, one to five right so let's hope that we get a really cool vintage pack maybe like one of these cool fossils that would be pretty sweet all right i don't think we need the scissors just yet let's flip this thing upside down it's really cool doing stuff like this i, I think i speak for probably the majority of the pokemon fans and, and, and kids my age that grew up in the 90s collecting these things you know, if the nostalgia alone wasn't enough to have a good time, certainly all the cool pulls that you get are, right? So here we go. All right. So before we open this, we've got the top open. We got our scissors. We got our card protectors in our book, which we keep our Pokemon cards in. So every time we pull it, we make sure to protect it in a sleeve so we can keep the value in them. All right, Let's open this up here. We're gonna find out where we've got some blank spaces. We're gonna rock and roll. All right, here we go. Ooh, looks like this card was just out, open. Got this right here. And that's a, I call that a filler card, but pretty much what this card does is it unlocks a particular Pokemon for you to use on Pokemon TCG. So for like online plan, you can scan that code or type it in and it gives you that. And this particular card here is a reverse hollow oddish and it looks kind of like it's funny I, I call them sock puppet oddish i call these pokemon sock puppets because they remind me of little big planet type creatures made out of like a woven type of fabric so we're gonna slide that bad boy on in there oddish first one out of the mystery box boom all right we got one two three four and five packs all right and one coin boom y'all see that pretty awesome right there super cool coin hopefully i'm centered and y'all can see this good all right put our coin to the side Woo! that's what i like to see right there pokemon evolutions pack bang we got a Fates Collide pack, bang. We got a Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse pack. Man, these packs feel heavy too. I'm feeling some sort of special. Cosmic Eclipse pack and Sun and Moon Lost Thunder pack. I like to do this. This is, may seem kind of silly, but they say the foils weigh extra. See this pack? feels a little heavier right of the two so we'll start with these two packs and set these three aside and we'll see if that um if that idea is actually valid right again this lost thunder pack feels heavier than this cosmic eclipse pack so let's see if inside of this lost thunder pack we get something a little cooler than this one all right, 
So first up is our Cosmic Eclipse. One more really good look at that packet, guys, before we open it. What I like to do when I open these cards is I like to make sure to sift them down. I'll touch the top here to make sure the cards are away from the top before I cut and feel. I like to double, triple check. What would suck would be to cut into this pack and destroy your cards. Only to find out that you had something crazy, like a Charizard holographic. All right. Open it here. All right. Pack one down. First card. Right there. Y'all catch that? This is a Pontiard. Let me get a zoom in on that card. The next card here, y'all gotta bear with me because some of these weren't around for Gen 1 and I haven't learned quite how to say them all yet. So be kind in the comments. I'll learn them, I promise. Toja de Maru. Boom. This is an electric type Pokemon. This one, Trap Inch. Here we go. Fighting Pokemon. Bang. I've actually gotten a few of these, so... Not a super special pull. Flabebe. Which is... Never really seen that particular type of... Um, looking energy. So I'm not entirely certain what that is. Tangela... And I already see our first reverse hollow. All right, we're gonna wanna zoom in on this one here. This is a reverse hollow, Sandy Gast. And it looks like, it looks like a um, caricaturized picture. That kind of sounds kind of silly since they're all characters, but this one looks like a, more of a hand-drawn, you know, image and, and added to the card, which is fine. It's Pretty unique. So we're gonna slide that baby on in there. Next we have a crotally, which I believe comes from a lily. Let's make sure here on the top of the card, comes from a lily. Okay. I see our energy card is a psychic energy. Boom, big eyeball, psychic. Wouldn't it be cool if we pulled like a GX Mewtwo or some sort of holographic Mewtwo or Mew, that would be pretty awesome. This card here is a Beastite trainer card. I've got another trainer card here to follow. This is a tag call, nothing special. This is a Dartrix. And then I have the filler card, which reminds me to go back and pull Pawniard and put that in there. I like to put the pack fillers, the uh, TCG scan cards, in front of the cards that I pull. That way I can relatively identify which packs these particular cards come from. That's just my personal preference. Okay, so in that one, which was the Cosmic Eclipse, Sun and Moon, we got the Sandy Gast, right? Reverse Hollow. That was the that was the special card in that bunch. Let's see if I was correct in assuming that this Thunder Pack, because it's seemingly heavier, is gonna yield better cards. Shake it down. Double, triple check. Boom, cut that next one open. Bang. Mari. Filler card. And here we go. Mari. Flip the page. Marini. Water type. Snubble. Boom. Slugma. Boom. Pick a pick. Oh man. 
Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I ruined it. I got all excited when I saw it. Reverse holo. Oh, and a holo. Back to back. Check it out. Was I not right? I'm telling you it was right. When it weighs more, you got a better chance. Look at this. Reverse holo. Chikorita. Bang. I don't even want to hold it on the sides. Hold it like this. Boom. Reverse holo. Chikorita. Pretty sweet, right? As if that wasn't enough. Slide that puppy in there. We got a holographic shaman. Boom. Right there. A reverse holo followed by a holo. That is as good as it gets. You know, whether the cards are perfect or great, that's besides the point. You're just you're looking for the shiny holographic cards. That's what makes the experience. It's almost like playing Pokemon Go and catching a shiny Pokemon. Our energy card. We got a Stantler, which is pretty funny considering that it's almost, you know, Christmas is around the corner. Got the Stantler. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I got Trainer Morty right here. Oh jeez. I guess I'm just gonna have to I guess I'm just gonna have to add him to, to to my collection. Oh man. That was my lame attempt at a Morty Smith voice. <clears throat> Love Rick and Morty. Great stuff. And then of course we've got Carbink to end that pack up. So so far so good, right? The heavier pack won. That last uh, double hollow pull was out of a Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. That having been said, we've got one more Sun and Moon pack before we get into the Fates Collide and the Evolution. Now, the Evolution I'm super excited to open because I hear there's lots of really cool, cool, awesome card pulls in these. But we'll cross that when we come to it. So let's do the way. Let's do the way test. I hold this and it feels pretty light. Um, so I'm thinking maybe there's not much in here. This one feels maybe a little heavier. This feels light too. So sadly, I think the Fates Collide pack is going to be better than our Evolutions pack. I may be wrong with my feelers, but pretty sure the Fates Collide pack seems like it's a little bit more weighted. So let's check and see. Okay. All right. We're going to start with Cosmic Eclipse. Boom. Our second Cosmic Eclipse pack out of this bunch. Get ready to open. Da -da 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 -da. All right, here we go. First things first. TCG card. Boom. Flip. And Drill Burr. Bang. Got a Swirlix. Bang. Got a Cricketot. We got a Woobat. Got a ducklet and here I said there probably wouldn't be nothing special in here, but guess what? We do have a reverse hollow. Boom. And this is a lichen rock, which evolves from rock rough. Boom. Are we centered there? Pretty cool stuff. All right. We got another Crotally. Cradley. We got a Fire Energy. Boof. My awesome, awesome sound effects. We got a Pangoro. Ooh, we got a Heracross. Not shiny, but hey, it's a Heracross. And we got a... Lily's Poke Doll Trainer card, and it's nothing special. It's just a regular card. Okay, so in that pack, we got the Reverse Hollow, right? I did say that that one felt light of the remaining three. So let's check and see what we've got in the Fates Collide, because this one seemed like it was the heavier one. I've already got it set in my mind. I want to end on the Evolution, so that's what we're going to end on. 
All right. I'm telling you, this one feels heavy. This one feels like it's it's magic. All right. TCG. Here we go. Solasis. Boom. Psychic. Um, this one looks like a booger, kind of. It's like, it's like Boogermon, Snotmon. Um, being psychic, I'm assuming it's some sort of, like, brain-type Pokemon inside of a little snot bubble, which I'm assuming is, like, I don't even know if I'm using this word right, cerebic fluid? Something like that. Oh man, I saw shiny something in there. Snivy. Hey, Meowth. Boom. I'm feeling like it's a GX card. I'm feeling like that is a GX. Let's let's get to it. Oh, it's not a GX, it's a hollow though. Gothica. Got our Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is said to put you to sleep with its lullabies. Um, I would probably just keep you awake if I continue to sing. All right, let's see. And here we are. This is a reverse hollow trainer, and it is Shauna. 2016 Pokemon. We're going to zoom in on that trainer card. Reverse hollow Shauna. Pretty cool. I don't get super excited usually with the trainers, but hey, shiny, shiny, hollow is hollow. So we're going to put her on into here. And you'd be surprised at how much some of these trainer cards are going for. We got a Grumpig, which evolves from Spoink. I got another trainer support card. This is not a hollow. This is a trainer in card. I've got a, a Braxton, and I've got a Mega Catcher Trainer. Boom. So that one was heavier in my mind, and uh, we still pulled a Reverse Hollow. Nothing super special out of that, so that was kind of a hit and miss, but we did at least get a Hollow, which leads us to our final pack of the Mystery Box. The Evolutions Pack. And on the front, of course, you can see one of the Prime 3 Pokemon, Venusaur. Anytime I see a Charizard or a Blastoise or a Venusaur on the front of these things, I'm not going to lie, I get a little bit excited because I think that maybe that increases my chances. Although I don't think that's how that works. Perception is everything, right? All right. Double, triple check. Looks like we're good to go. So remember guys, if y'all are liking these feeds and y'all like what you see and you'd like to see more of these or you'd like to see specific types of boxes, feel free to like, comment, let me know what you want. Also, uh, if you will, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. There's a little bell there in the corner. Hit that bell, make sure to turn all your notifications on. And anytime we do another feed like this, boom, pop up right there in the palm of your hand. All right. With the evolutions pack. Come on. Bang. Oh my gosh. This is, you're going to ready to zoom in on this? This has got to be one of the most common cards. <laughs> it's a ratatata. Uh, got your hopes up there. You were like, holy crap. No, it's just, it's just a rat. We got a Growlithe basic. Which these are like legit cards here, man. These are nice. You can you can tell the difference in the style. It's like throwback here. These are all throwback. Look at this, a Nidoran. Vulpix, bang. We got a Sand Shrew. Ooh, yeah.
and we got a reverse hollow. Oh, snap! Oh, man. A reverse hollow Vulpix. Zoom in on that sucker. And you ready for the epic pull here? You ready for the epic pull? This is going to be the pull of the night right here. Take it as you will. You can claim what you want. But check out this 2016 Evolutions Hitmonchan Holographic. Boom! Right there, son. Hitmonchan Hollow. It's where it's at. It's where it's at. Man, we've had some pretty good luck tonight with this pack, this mystery box. I'm going to tell you what. I cannot wait to price these particular cards. And that Hitmonchan, that's that's exciting. As if this Magnemite wasn't. And are you ready for the Pikachu? Boom. And the Machop. Pikachu and Machop. That Hitmonchan is the win. So one more time, guys. We had a Lost Thunder pack. We had the Cosmic Eclipse pack. Cosmic Eclipse. Fates Collide. And the win of the night was definitely out of the Evolutions pack. Now I understand why people are pulling cards from the Evolutions. If they're all like that, uh, with the traditional Pokemon in it, with the chance of those hollow pulls, I mean, what more could you ask for? I mean, the only thing I could think of better would have been pulling... Uh, Dagum Charizard, but what are the odds that, you know, out of the one pack in the box, I was going to pull a hollow period. I could have just as easily been skunked. So again, thank you guys for joining me tonight. My name is Shea Birdwell. I hope you enjoy this channel, and I hope you enjoy the content we're going to be putting out here. Please again, make sure that you like, and hit that subscribe button. Check me out online. You can catch me on Facebook at Shea Birdwell. You can catch me on Instagram at Shea Birdwell. You can catch me at Twitter on Shea Birdwell. On TikTok, guess what you can catch me at? Shea Birdwell. Shea Birdwell across, across the board, right? So um, we're going to be doing hopefully lots of really cool Pokemon card openings as well as the regular content that streams on my channel. I am a musician. I play music. I write and sing songs and um, always got some music to share with you guys so if we're not opening pokemon cards we should be playing some music and having a good old time so thank you guys so much for tuning in and joining with me tonight and we look forward to seeing you next time here this is shea birdwell signing out of poke sessions